Okay, so today's practice is about how we can in the practice just elevate us not to drawn back into the thought and uh, some of you have said that thought is necessary. Thought is necessary, but thought itself should not be into a individual. So let's say hypothetically something has happened to you and it is a difficult time. So you don't make, when you're explaining it to someone, you don't make the story personalizing into yourself. So like, let's say, um, like I had a technical problem now and you wouldn't really say the technical problem is due to this and you don't use excuses on the external level to interpret your story. So thought is important, but if the thought and the story constantly going in the favor of your um, victimhood or you're praising yourself, then that is not the level of consciousness that we are talking about because everyone is in the world has come into this conceptual idea about what meditation is. Now your mind in simple version cannot understand the space of oneness. It does not because it's constantly seeing things as a separation and a language. So there is always an opposition for you. And that opposition is a difficulty. So saying that, today's practice, I want you to keep a close attention into that space, that it, if it moves away from that space and it's telling a story, I have to get now the classes to finish, class got um, late, or I have to move from here to there. Just observe that. Not necessary that is not right or, or not wrong but just be aware of those little thoughts in a logic way, try to enter into creating that past and the future, but not really becoming sensitive to the present moment. So saying that, take a deep breath in, shoulders roll back, open up the chest and elevate the space of the heart. Couple of deep breaths and really finding a space to connect into that breath. Now, when you're connecting into the place of the breath, that means there is a present moment. There is nothing to achieve. There's nothing to get rid of. There is nothing as what we call external trouble because it only stays in the memory of the past and the projections of the future. Now, very gently stretch the neck to the right. Very gently, left shoulder open. Breathing in very gently back into the scent. Onto the other side. Now take a deep breath in back into the center. Shrug the shoulders up, till the head back, massage the back of the skull very gently. into the chest, completely breathe out, collapse the spine into a seating cat. Breathing in, shoulders roll back, lift up the space of the heart. And very gently, shoulders roll back, opening up the space of the heart, breathing in back into a center position where the elongation is vertical and horizontal and creating the space. I will move the camera towards Darren. Take a deep breath in and twisting the spine onto the left. Very gently allow the stomach pulled in. Very gently allow that chin and shoulder to move towards the left, that your eyes is gazing into a direction and let the shoulder move into that direction. Breathing in back into the center. Shoulders relaxed and chest open. Now change the leg formation. Very gently twisting the spine onto the other direction. Just observe your breath. Mm. 
breathing in very gently, coming back into the center. Very gently allow that shoulders to relax and just open. Now take a deep breath in and walk those palms into the front and very gently drop the elbows. Very gently allow that body, the mechanism to relax. Let the present moment serve you. And very gently, that body need to be forced is stopped. Now, very gently, allow those hips to relax. Taking care of the present moment. While you're awake in the practice, gently coming back. Shoulders relax and chest open. Now take a deep breath in arms, raise onto the crown, interlacing the fingers, palms facing up. Shoulders relax, chest open. Now very gently holding onto the right wrist and switching towards the left. Keep your stomach very gently pulled in, back, into the center, holding on to your left wrist and switching towards the right. Breathing in back into the center. So you're coming into a place of elevating beyond a thought. Spread the wings, palms onto the namaskar position. Interlacing the fingers, palms facing into the front, stretching it. Stretch, 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 stretch. Now up to the ceiling, up to the ceiling. Shoulders relax, opening up. Gentle, they bring in the arm behind the ears. The head doesn't tilt. Now very gently spreading the wings onto the shoulder heights. Garudas and a right arm onto the top. Now very gently try to drop the shoulders and allow the chest to be open on the space of the Garudasana. Thumb just energizing the space of the third eye. Now very gently take a deep breath in, spread the wings wider and twisting the spine to the right side. Stomach very gently pulling in, opening up, very gently taking that breath Let the chemistry of the body to be aligned into the present moment. Your inner chemistry goes more than what your thought can represent your body. Now breathing in back into the center, change the leg formation, interlacing the fingers, palms facing into the front, up to the ceiling. Stretch the arms back behind the ears a little bit more. Breathing in back into the center. Garudas on the left on the top. I love the wisdom of the moment. Without a perception of what you're gaining or what you're losing. <laughs> because it's not about gaining more information about the space of Samadhi and getting rid of the old, creating a new, it is nothing like that. Now very gently spread the wings wider and twisting the spine to the left side. Opening up. Very gently observe where the ego trip comes. Now very gently back into the center. Now very gently onto the knees, coming into a gentle cat. 
a seating cat. Yeah, on the knees, very gently. Roll onto the knees, completely coming into a space of the cat. Breathe out, stomach pull in, bum flat. Take a deep breath in, drop the belly opening up, tongue roll up onto the upper palate. Breathe out. Breathing in. Breathe out. Now breathing in into a neutral spine and give a good rotation to the hips. Shoulders relax, being in the harmony with the body, being with the harmony in the present moment will allow you the breath to come in without the idea of how the breath should be. On to the other side, harmony with the nature. Harmony with the existence. Not just going against the current of the thought, current of the knowledge. Just the present moment is a place of letting go. Allow life to happen back to the center into a neutral spine. Now, very gently, right arm reaching into the front, up to the ceiling, clench and unclench. Right arm reaching under the left armpit, dropping that shoulder blade. Left arm reaching up and into the sacrum. If that is not the place where you stretch in the arm onto the floor, into the front. Now, your present moment. It only can be disturbed if you're in the past or in the future. Even you are telling me you are not in a place of harmony, that because you want to know the future. Now take a deep breath in into that space harmoniously in accord with the whole, in accord with the life in accord with beyond. Now at this very moment, a thought should not needed. Now very gently coming back, shoulder is relaxed, breathe out to a gentle cat. Gently coming back. Now to the other side, take a deep breath in, left arm reaching up, clench and unclench under the armpit. So finding a place, whether it's for you, for the sacrum, whether it's the right arm goes onto the front. Mm -hmm. Now, this is not doing a big or great or trying to do the practice to shine. You're just, you're not appealing to the ego. But the ego will slowly try to come in a very harmonious way to pull you out of the present moment. Now you have to understand the light consists in very small particles of small things. So if you're interested in so-called big things, you will miss life because you will miss a lot of little things which are important for that bigger life. Breathing in very gently, coming back. Completely breathe out into the space of the cat. Now, when you're breathing out into the space of the cat, it's almost like you're ironing the spine. Hmm. 
and I'm breathing in, into a very gentle cow. Your breath is almost like you're sipping a cup of tea. So don't overdo, find the rhythm for you. Cow, one more time. Breathe out into the space of the cat afterwards. Now very gently take a deep breath in, coming back into a gentle space, give a good rotation. Voila. So now your contribution is greeting the present moment. Not that the present moment has become strange to you and you are talking about the past visitors and the future visitors, but the present. Wider rotation to the other side. So basically, you are very gently becoming aware of everything what's happening in this moment. Now very gently take a deep breath in into a neutral space, push the hips into the front, breathe out into the back, bring the hips right into the back, breathing in, push the hips into the front, breathe out into the back. Palms facing up and drop the hips right onto the heels. Take a moment. Now you understand now you don't need to replace anything by a thought. You're saying hello to the breath. You're saying hello to the body. You're saying hello to the sound. You're saying hello to the light. You have come into this understanding about life. And the life that is the other is separated is now has come to the respect that you will start respecting the life even in others. Now the life that is in the environment, the life that is in the sound, you only can in the present moment feel the sound is alive. The light is life. The body is alive. Consciousness is alive. Now very gently, palms facing down, crawling and bringing the chest into the front. Drop the belly, soften the hips. Breathing in into a very gentle cobra. Now the externally, nothing is disturbing you and you're not using the external Thing that I don't have this, I don't have that. If that is there, it is. So nothing to replace for you to discover the present moment. I need money. I need love. I need uh, this situation to work very quickly. I need my help. Now take a deep breath in. Very gently relax onto the flow the third eye, elbows pointing out very gently, coming into that place of the present. Now very gently take a moment to release the tension that you are forced by your mind, your separation that you ought to do. that follows you like a nightmare, that follows you like haunting. So if you move this to the past or to the future, you will never rest. It will never allow you to rest. If even you try to relax your past and the future, Tense will come and say, what are you doing? You are not meant to relax. 
you should be doing something. Now, very gently come into this place of the mind playing these games with you if you are constantly allowing the mind to grow into the past and to the future. Otherwise, you will drive yourself crazy. A lot of people are trying to find mind ways to relax and they are already in the verge. Because something good is for them is in the future when the government change, the weather change, the world is gone organic, I don't know, whatever. Uh, when the interest rate comes down, I don't know. There are so many things people say and use it as an excuse. Now take a deep breath in and palms onto the chest level, elbows tucked in, breathing in very gently into up face. Now gravitate towards that up face very gently. Keep that elongation, keep that breath. Now very gently observe the mind, how it prepares you as a very positive way and allow you to suffer more. So if you're suffering from too much this, too much that, it's nothing to do with anything, it's not too much, it's just your mind has come into that place. Breathe out towards a down face. Now, if you, your personality, your ego, not your spirit, if it is trained like this and it is already being fed by your thoughts into it, it will be there condemning you. So if it, it is a system that's planted in your mind. So this is where everyone is fallen into this space of suffering. So bending one knee at a time, releasing the tension, softening very gently, coming into this sense of not so much of getting rid of this something that is implanted into you, but becoming aware of it. There is no joy in you. Now take a deep breath in. Left leg up into the back, rotation to the left foot. So release the shackles from the past, the condemnation. Left knee onto the left chest, breathe out. Come forward. Breathing in, stretch back, left knee onto the left elbow, breathe out. Breathing in, stretch back, left knee onto the right elbow, breathe out. Breathing in, stretch back, left foot into the front. Now, just observe your body, not as feet, not as arms, not as head not as breath, not as a female, not as a male, just as a space of a moment that you're working with this mystery, arms raised onto the crown. Now interlacing the fingers, six deep cycles of breath, wider rotation, arms raised out breath, Spreading widely, spreading widely, very gently coming into that space of the present moment. Even the movement is there, even the breath is there, the celebration. Arms raised onto the crown, interlacing the fingers, 
stretch, stretch, stretch the elbows. Now very gently turning onto the right side, opening up into the Virabhadrasana, the warrior pose. Now take a deep moment. Now, when you are in the present moment, you are stopping the past and the future split. So there is not a part is condemning you by the other part. So just being in the present, you stop that inner conflict. That inner conflict has to be dropped. Otherwise, you will miss the whole beauty, the truth, the benediction of life. You will never be able to laugh. You will never be able to love. You will never be able to be in total in anything because your other part is condemning you. Gentle arch. Now observe in this way, you can observe the space of the mind where the programming is. Taking a deep breath, coming back, elbow onto the knee. Take a deep breath in, right arm roll back onto the sacrum, up to the ceiling. Right arm reaching into the front. So the tip of the finger and the back heel in the same alignment, moving the energy. Right reaching into the front, very gently touch the floor. Shoulders relax, just open, take a moment. Left arm reaching up to the ceiling, opening up, clench and arm clench, release the tension of the split that you were involved before, if reaching into the back, touch the floor. Now drop the back knee, holding onto the front and shoulders relax. Push the hips into the front and into the back. Very gently, very gently, warming up, warming up, warming up, lunging, 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 lunging. Palms onto the floor, very gently, take a deep breath in into a stronger plank. Now, almost if you can come without dropping the knees into a push-up position, elbows tucked in. If you drop the chest, that's also fine. Take a deep breath in, up face. Shoulders relax and just open. Shoulders roll back. Breathe out towards the down face. Now very gently take a deep breath in, drop the knees, stretch the spine. Take a moment to observe the nonsense that has been created in the mind. So the centuries of this conditioning is no longer serving the purpose. So when you have a past, it's almost like you're a victim of the history. So all what you have to do is not to create a future out of the past to the opposition of what is being created, the practice should give you a little bit more consciousness. 
And when you come into this consciousness of the present moment, all your past memories and activities are slowly being liberated. So present moment give you a moment of wisdom to uncontaminate the present moment from your past literature, from your past trauma. So it heals. Now crawling and bringing the chest into the front, breathing in into up face. <clears throat> Breathe out towards the down face. Take a deep breath in right leg up into the back. Give a good rotation to the right foot. Release those past shackles uh, that you're dragging and dragging. Right knee under the chest. Switch back. Breathe out right knee to the right elbow. Breathing in, stretch back, right knee to the left elbow. Stretch back, right foot into the front. Stabilize, stabilize, stabilize. I told you not to think it as the foot. If you think as a foot, as a leg, then you feel like you need to have the balance. Arms stretch into the back, arms raise onto the crown. Undo all those doings that automatically run in your system, but not necessarily in favor of your six deep cycles of brain. Mm -hmm. Now, some of you might be very lonely in the space of the ego if you don't have the same thoughts coming and coming and coming. So you might be, some of you might be thinking, oh, I have lost my crowd. Or some of you might say that I have lost myself. Present moment, you should lose yourself of what you know about you. Arms raised onto the crown. Interlacing the fingers, turning into the left. Point the knee in the front properly, opening up into the Virabhadrasana at the warrior pose. Shoulders relax. Take a mudra. Take a deep breath in. Now, in that present moment, you are more aligned with the space of the heart. Now very attentively, very consciously be in that space. You will never be wrong. And if you listen to that space from that present, you will never be divided. Now the right direction it's not something that you force into yourself or learn from somewhere. You are directing into the right direction without ever thinking of what is right and what is wrong. Take a deep breath in, gently coming back, elbow onto the knee. Left arm either reach up, left arm also roll back onto the sacrum, elbows pointing up. Or left arm reaching into the front. So finding a place that the direction without ever thinking of what is the right direction. When you ask what is the right direction and what is the wrong direction, you have divided into two. So the whole art for the new humanity will consist in a secret of listening to 
your own heart consciously, alertly, attentively, and follow it through in any means and go whatever it takes you. Not where the crowd goes. Not suddenly I have lost my family, I have lost my tribe. I have lost my crowd. Gently reaching into the front, touch the floor. Take a deep breath in, right arm reaching into the front, up to the ceiling. Into the back and touch the floor. Drop the back knee, holding onto the front knee. Push the hips forward and backwards, release the tension. Now, sometimes in this taking the right place from the moment can may look to a divided part of a personality or an ego, or it is difficult. But that difficulty is needed for something to become mature. Hmm. Oh, this is too much. I've been doing this too much. I shouldn't be. Sometimes it's my feeling I'm going on the wrong direction, but there is no wrong direction in it. It is part of the growth to understand. Palms onto the floor, into a plank. Now, if you have gone to the past or to the future, just rise up again into the present moment. Stronger plank. Lower plank, if you can't hold the lower plank, drop the knees. Breathing into an up face. Shoulders roll back. Breathe out towards the down face. Now very gently drop the knees. Rotate the hips wider on one direction and then to the other direction. Now very gently take a deep breath in and breath out, stretch the spine into the back palms, I think. Now what the practice does is, practice is bringing you integrated into that present moment. but not necessarily that imposed by outside. Because if something is imposed, it cannot be in the space of that consciousness. Remember, total these rules and disciplines can be so much invented to control you. So in, 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 a, in, a, in a spiritual context, uh, the Jesus, Buddha, or Krishna, or Muhammad has never given you world rules. What they shared is their love. So when the consciousness of the light gone, normally in states or countries, people start groping into that rules to follow. Because the light of consciousness this could have seen is no longer there. Now they will have to depend on rules. Now see the difference, one comes from the ego of fear, ego of praise, ego of obedience, and the other is more liberated. Now to the child pose.
So the thought is a imitate, it's an imitator. The moment you imitate, you insult your consciousness, you insult your light, you insult your higher. Now, coming to the idea of a God without a perception, God without a form, of this understanding is without logic, without form. Okay, because otherwise you will still picture things into thoughts. You're going to be liberated from the thoughts. A liberated person is free to do anything, not disciplined and controlled by any rules and regulations. That means no polarity. <clears throat> he's not running from poor to rich. He's not running from bad health to good health. He's not running from black to, to white, uh, bad to good. Crown of the head onto the floor, lifting up the buttocks and gently allow that pituitary and the pineal energy to be aligned and not imitating all forms. You're meant to be an original. And you're not meant to be alike. I don't know what is happening with people and fashion these days. They all want to look alike. So what is your way of life cannot be the next person doing the class has to be. Imbibe the space of the unknown spirit. Imbibe that space of the silence where thoughts not needed or feel fulfilling. In that space of grace, now very gently waking up the spine one vertebra at a time. Now drink as much as possible in the space of the present. Shoulders relax, just open. Now, if the Vajrasana is a hard posture, then come into a normal seating posture. Shoulders relax and just open. Now, take a moment. What I'm suggesting is present. What I'm suggesting is only on the present moment that you are connected to that space of God, but not the idea of God. You are present in that space of love. You're present receiving that compassion, which allows you through the practice to listen to your own heart now even a whisper you understand the truth you don't have to get it in a book or come to me remember your heart does not speak in large volume you have to be silent and still. It whispers. It does not shout. It does not come in a glamorous way. So for a moment in this pose, forget about all what he's been told. Forget about the polarity of right and wrong. Forget about someone gave you a fixed map of the life. Age 20, you have to do this. Age 30, you have to do it. Then you have to have children. Then you have to have a house. Then you have to have a job. And then you have to have the super. Take a break from that. So you are just simply... You and I don't exist in this moment. Let the moment exist.
Remember only that way you come into the realization what is right now can be wrong next moment, what is wrong next moment can be right on the other moment. So you're not fixed. Life cannot be fixed. You cannot label it. So now you can observe the mystery of the present moment. One moment something fits, then the next moment. So nothing is a stagnant pool. Things are moving. You're moving through life. Our life is moving through you. It's never the same. Two moments are never the consecutive moments. Now you're not interfering with your PhD knowledge of the past. You have become very humble. Shoulders relaxed, just to You're allowing at this very moment the hidden source of your life. It is a very intelligent experience of your own consciousness. But you have to provide it a right space like this, what you're doing now. And you're accepting this moment as it is, self as you are. You're not denying anything. You're not splitting anything. You're not feeling guilty about anything because you don't exist and I don't exist in separation. So when you start developing your ego as a child, you have been opposition to your happiness, to your bliss, to your joy. And you have been forced into this seriousness of the identity called sadness. So you have this whole thing that I am helpless. I am vulnerable, so I have to depend on things. Some are depending on medication, some are depending on the uh, media, news. So there is things unwillingly, miserably, in deep resistance against yourself. So take this moment, just observe. So 
So when you're in the present moment, that upbringing filled with sadness is no longer there. And you have become impartially into a space of neutrality. When the neutrality is there, there is joy. There's health is natural. When you are in that place of health, you don't go to the doctors to inquire. Why am I healthy? You don't come to someone or see me. Why am I happy? Why am I blissful? Just observe now that your answers to why am I like this? What's gone wrong? It's no longer there, it cannot use you anymore. So there is nothing to prove about being blissful. So now the misery does not sink deeper into you, your cells, your blood, your bones, into your marrows. So is this present moment is very healing. Now you are no longer distracted from yourself into something which you are not. Take a deep breath in now. Very gently bring those knees to the chest, completely breathe out. Hold on for a few seconds. Arms raise onto the crown, feet stretch up. Breathe out, knees to the chest. Breathing in. Breathe out, knees to the chest. Pull the belly in slightly, breathing in and release. Breathe out, engage the pelvic flow, chin up. Now lock knees to the chest, lock onto the toes. Now finding a fine balance to stretch the legs apart. If you roll back, it's okay. Shoulders relax, do not aggravate any aggression into the body. Big shoulders relax. Now very gently. Knees to the chest. And roll back onto the floor. Rock the spine into the front and into the back on the floor for a few times. Engage the pelvic floor to find that balance rather than pose in the back. Sometimes you can roll back onto the back of the head. That just to get that liveness, liveness sinking deeper into you. Now very gently lying down on the floor. 
and right knee on top of the left knee, dropping onto the right side. Arm stretch onto the shoulder level. Now observe. 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 Now, when the thoughts enter into you, then you think that somebody is sad, somebody is in suffering, somebody is miserable, somebody is sick. Now, when we take a moment and drop all then you have to ask the question in the present moment, the question is, who am I? And you don't have to feel it because you know who you are, not just by a thought and a body. Breathing in back into the center. Left knee on top of the right knee and dropping onto the left side. Turning the head on to the right direction. So now take a break from that space of the hypocrisy, the false home that was created to you by the society. So I know people wanted to fit into the society. So they think that it's better to be miserable and fit into. Breathing in back into the center. Now very gently grab those knees onto the chest, forehead onto the knees. Completely breathe out. Now lock onto the toes and release the back of the head onto the floor and feet wide apart. Shoulders relax, just open. Your birthright is the nature of bliss. And this blissfulness is not something to be achieved. You're born and without even a body, it was there. So you have not lost something in you. What has happened to you have simply gone further away. So a um, gentle understanding is a great revolution. Now very gently bend the knees and bringing under the armpit and sole of the feet looking up to the ceiling, back of the shoulders dropped onto the floor, back of the hips dropped onto the floor. Now breathe into the space of the body because it's already healing. So the problem is not what the world has done to you. Problem is you have built into a place of something than your own natural blissfulness. Now 
Now very gently knees to the chest. Drop the spine and coming into that space. Arms gently raise back into the crown. Spread the wings and twist the spine to the left. Back to the center. Change the leg formation, arms raise onto the crown. Twist the spine to the opposite direction. Shoulders, shoulder pads, back into the center. So stretch the neck onto the right side. Breathing in back into the center, onto the left side. Back to the center. Shoulders relax. Very gently opening up your eyes widely. And very gently imaginary clock in the front and move the eyes right onto the number 12. Number nine, number six, number three, number 12, back to the center. Gently close the eyes, take a moment, take a moment. Open the eyes wider. Imaginary clock in the front, number 12, Number three, number six, number nine, number 12. Back to the center. Gently relax. There's no need, no effort. Just a remembrance of the present moment. Now heat up the palms very gently. Very gently using the cushion of your palms. Just embracing that space of the eyes that see the form. Sometimes can impose on you. Back to the center, heat up the palms. Use the energy of this realization of the present moment to heal the area that the body is at this present moment going through a difficulty. Because at that very moment, you can see that your body is a past and, and the misery come from that. So you can see there is no misery because no misery can only help if there is a misery. But there's no anguish at this very moment in your realization. Now take a deep breath in, shake the hands, release any tension, static. Arms raised onto the crown very silently, bringing that space of realization onto the crown. Coming into the space of the third eye, there is nothing. Throat, there is nothing to vocalize. Heart, just a more inward step that you have found the greatest treasure that has been waiting for you for thousands of thousands of thousands of life that you have come into this. Solar plexus, navel, border. Arms raised onto the crown and cleansing the space of the aura through your experience of the practice, using the vibration of those 
energy is more and more conscious, more and more joyous, more and more positive, more and more awakened. Very gently touch the earth, respect for the elements of the apotejo vayo patavi. Earth particles, air particles, heat particles, water particles. That is the formation of all these forms in all levels what you see and touch. And you can change the elements of it in any time. Gently coming out of the practice, palms onto the namaskar position. In gratitude for the moment, in gratitude for the moment. And let the moments grow in moment to moment. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.